it doesn't discriminate. Race, creed, color, it doesn't matter if you come from Park Avenue or Park Bench. It's touching the lives of many. We believe in treatment and education. You can either treat them or you can incarcerate them or you can bury them. That's where we're at. I choose the poison can see the reason why, why into my veins. It was a very, very fast progression. And by the end of it, I was on fentanyl, and I was, I had one patch on, and it was supposed to last for three days. And I would find myself sticking another one in my mouth and chewing on it at the same time to keep that euphoria and to keep it going. Brian is 43 years old, slaved on opium pills al five years long, with opstaan and weer vallen. I woke up one morning, couldn't turn my head, and suffered a severe neck injury, causing is what caused it. And went to the doctor. He basically started prescribing me opiates. The progression of the uh, injury and such, how it progressed very fast. And the faster it progressed, the more I thought I hurt. So the more I asked the doctor for. So I was becoming addicted and, and didn't even realize it. This is the bunk area. We have up to nine people here. We have a couple of beds open. Uh, by next week, it'll be full. Steven kicked the 18 year geleden zelf af van alcohol. Nu leidt hij een afkickcentrum voor 20 verslaafden. The primary purpose of our program here is to allow men an opportunity to recover, to transition back into their families, into their lives. We started seeing more of the opiate, the pills, um, and in the last, I would say, seven, eight years, the heroin has become a, a, a serious problem for us. I've got a six-year-old son, and when I got hurt, he was, I believe he was a year old when I got hurt. I had missed so much of his life, and I lost my job. I had a very good job, and uh, I was making really good money. And I got where I wouldn't go to work. If I did go to work, I wouldn't stay maybe a couple hours. I tell my boss I'm hurting real bad. I need to go home. And it it was it was a mess. Usually a minimum, we ask guys to come in for three months, up to six months, and they can stay up to towards a year. And you know, some guys already have a wife, family, home waiting on them. We just try to get them to come in at least for a minimum of three months, get them get them grounded, get them back into the swing of life of not using and being productive people again. Because of the epidemic. It's touching the lives of many people that it didn't before. Uh, you know, before people always thought that it was the you know the lower class in the in the hood per se, or the low income people that lived in the projects. Now they're finding out these guys on Capitol Hill, you know, all the professionals in life are being touched through this epidemic, this opioid epidemic where somebody in their family, whether it's their son, daughter, grandson, cousin, whoever, it's in their lives. If you stub your toe nowadays, it seems like they give you a prescription for Percocet. I've still got back problems, and I had injections in my back for steroid injections to alleviate the swelling. And over the, that was on a Friday, and over the weekend, the pain got so severe, I needed to go to the emergency room to see what was going on to make sure there wasn't anything serious happening. Well, the first thing they did, they looked at me and said, there's nothing we can do for you. Here's 30 Percocet 30 milligram tablets. Here you go, take them home and relax. That's the first thing they did. It's a donation, we're a nonprofit. We need a electric dryer. We already have a huge health insurance crisis. You know, we're gonna lose lives if they don't get that together. The Congress and the Senate had better get that together. Medicaid, if that's cut, a lot of these addicts and alcoholics, their only lifeline to recovery is through Medicaid. If that's cut through some sort of federal, you know, budget cut, 
or what they're doing up on Congress, there's going to be a lot more problems with theft, crime, tens of thousands of dollars to incarcerate. It's going to be like Armageddon. It's going to be the end of the world if it doesn't, if something doesn't happen. Because people are dropping like flies. You hear about people, two, three people a week, seems like anymore, that are overdosing. And uh, it's, it's, it's horrible. It truly is. And I don't see, in the near future, I don't see any, I just see it getting worse before it gets better.